Welcome to Successful Dads. Today, I'm going to show you how to mount a TV on the wall. See me, instead of having my little ones out in the streets, running the streets, I think that it's best that I can, you know, teach them something, a skill like putting a TV on the wall, maybe able to turn that into a business. Here, you see me finding the stud on the wall. I'm going to do another video with finding the stud on the wall. But when we find the stud, we take the drill and zap it one time, you know, just to print. Or you could take a marker. Or you get some mount and, you know, put it in position where you want it to go, right where you drilled the hole in the wall. You're going to double check to make sure that you want the stud. As you got your little one beside you. Make sure they paying attention. Make sure they focus. Make sure they hands on. As long as they hands on with a drill, they don't have to be hands on with a gun. It's called keeping them active, showing them different ways that they can get paid. All right, now you see me. I'm actually drilling into the wall. I'm drilling both of my holes for this specific mount. You can get your, your mount off of Amazon. I have a link below for a TV mount from Amazon. If you would like to purchase one, just click the link in my description below. As well as like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to share. We will receive a small percentage of the item that you purchase if you do decide to purchase a TV mount that's in this link. Now, let's get back to putting the TV on the wall. All right, after you drill your holes, you put your mount up, depending on if you have screws or you have torque heads, certain type of nuts, um, not nuts, but you know, depending on the type of um, screws that you use then you know you may have to have certain type of tools as far as a drill you may have to have a um, socket with a ratchet set if you have a socket with a ratchet set make sure you know your left and right your clockwise counterclockwise your off your owns that'll help you out a whole lot now watch as we use this specific tool which is not a wrench, but which is a ratchet and a socket after we started the screw and drilled our holes. We could have used a filler pad screwdriver or a filler pad on the drill, but instead I'd rather go ahead and show my son how to use multiple tools at one time. And once he figure out his own way, he can minimize to the exact tools that he chose to use. Now, let's go ahead and... As he finished that, I'm just going to stand here and watch. Now tell me, do you have a TV that needs to be mounted on the wall? Did you put it up? Or did you go and pay to get it done? Or did you have your son or friend or your daughter or someone there to at least help you hold the TV? Or either help you drill in a wall or even ratchet in a wall? You're not going to get it all on the first time. You may slip a couple times. But just keep going. It might take two people. You may need two people. Step back. Take a break. After you, your son, your, your daughter, whoever you have assisting or whoever you decide to teach. Or even if it's you, if I'm showing you, then... Make sure everything is level. Grab your leveler. Make sure that it's at the height that you want it to be. After you do that, make sure you have all your nuts extra tight. Your screws, make sure they're extra tight. Uh, you may have to double check. But as long as you're going clockwise all the way till it can't go no more, then you know you either got it on or you're very close. Just watch as I tighten it. 
I'm at the bottom right now. Gonna do them one at a time. I'm take a little strength now. Because you are putting it inside of a stud. Your stud is the 2 by 4 that's behind the sheetrock. As long as you have it in the stud, it's almost like the frame. Your chances of it falling down or coming out the wall are very, very slim. So make sure you have it on that stud. Now you ready for the TV? Depending on the size of your TV, it may take two people. You may have to bring in some reinforcements to help you lift the TV. Or if you have reinforcements standing around, make sure that they have their hands on something. Because it's always something to do. And especially if they're little ones, you have to keep them active, keep them going. Their mind is racing. So make sure you have them active in learning the skill that can take them to the next level. So now you see us putting the TV on the wall. Right now we're kind of doing measurements. Making sure that, you know, it's, it's where it needs to be before we totally lock it in. Alright, now I'm finna start the boat on the back. Seem like we have it in the right position. I got, you know, my, my, my little big one. <laughs> my twin twin, he's on the other side. He's holding it up. Congratulations to him. Just graduated. But, you know... You got to hold them tight. Before we branch off, you got to know something. All right, so now I'm at the back of the TV. At the back of your TV, make sure you read your directions to be sure to lock the TV into the mount. That'll also keep it from falling. All right. You see me start a lot of stuff, but I started to kind of guide him to completion of the situation if i totally do it then he's going to be looking like oh my dad gonna do it or oh i'll wait on him nah it's not like that you have to implement the situations you have to implement so they can move forward and be there for you to assist and for you to help so right now it's a swivel mount so we just leveling it, making sure it's in its right section of where we want it to be. Thumbs up, you know, to great work. Thumbs up to Successful Dads and thumbs up to you. We want to say thank you for watching Successful Dads.